Guys, we have another emergency meeting because TikTok shop has just dropped another bomb. It's like we can't catch a break with these guys. Last week, it was the massive account bans. And this week, they decided to increase the selling fees by almost 400%. So in this video, I want to share with you my opinion about this drastic change, who is going to get affected positively and negatively, and also what we should be asking in exchange for this price increase. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. Let's get started in three, two, one, yeah. All right, so first let's take a quick look at the notice that they sent us about this change. Dear TikTok shop seller, we want to inform you of an important update regarding the referral fee structure on TikTok shop. As part of our ongoing commitment to providing you with the best possible platform and services, we are implementing an adjustment to our referral fee rates, effective July 1st, 2024. The new referral free structure will go from 2% plus 30 cents per order to 8% per order. These changes are designed to allow us to better serve customers while ensuring that we continue to provide great value. Oh, okay, so this is not to serve us better. This is to serve the customers better. I'm assuming that the customers are not us sellers. It's the people that buy from us. All right, good to know. Then it goes on to say that to support you through this transition, we will offer a transition rate of 6% per order from April 1st to June 30. And then, you know, it will go to the 8%, except on some categories. Like some categories are gonna have a lesser increase. Referral fee for electronics will be adjusted to 6%. Referral fee for pre-owned will be adjusted to 5% and referral fee for collectibles will be adjusted to 6%. All right, so that's cool, but I don't know what they mean by pre-owned, because you're not supposed to sell anything that is not new on TikTok shop. But maybe this is a new category that they are making. I have no idea about it. I have never seen anyone selling pre-owned stuff because you always get you know these notifications about show me your product certificate and all of that and you basically need to either be the supplier or have a letter from the supplier allowing you to sell every item right so i don't know who's getting that five percent but if you actually sell on pre-owned let me know in the comments i'm curious about it now let's read between the lines because not everybody is gonna get affected for example if you sell an item that cost five dollars under the previous selling fees that will be five times 0.02 that will be equal to 10 cents in fees plus 30 cents. So that will be 40 cents in fees. Now, under the new rules, if you sell an item that costs $5 and you multiply it by 0.08, then it's gonna cost you 40 cents in fees. So basically the same. What does this mean? Well, as long as your item costs less than $5, you're actually gonna be better off with the new fee structure. But you know, how many items are there that you can sell for $5 or less? You know, not that many. But also check this out because you might be saving some money on returns. Under the old rules, when you receive a return, you will still be charged the referral fee. However, the selling fee was partially returned to you. I don't know exactly what percentage. I could never figure this out. It's not clear here. They say to see an example. The example doesn't show anything but also the fixed amount will still be charged the 30 cents per order. So that 30 cents, you will never get that back. However, under the new rules, when you get a return, TikTok shop will refund the referral fee amount for the products minus the appropriate administration fee, which is 20% of the referral fee. Now, this is actually clear. So it's gonna be 20% of the 8% fee. So if we punch in the numbers, we can determine that if your product costs $15 or less, you're gonna actually be saving money because $15 times 0 0.02, which is the part of the fee that will never get returned to you, that would be 30 cents. So right there, that's a win for us. Now, what do you think about 8% selling fees? Do you think that's a lot? Well, how about we compare it with the other marketplaces? Let's see. Now, this all depends on the category of the product that you're selling and some other factors, but on average, eBay charges 13.25% plus 30 cents per order. And also there's some listing fees involved. Amazon charges 15% on average per order. Plus, you know, you have to have a, a professional plan that does like $40 a month and you have to pay other things. So it's not, it's never 15% with Amazon. It's always a lot more. 
Now Etsy charges 15%, but you also have to pay for listing the products on the platform. Like every 30 days, you have to renew it. I think it costs around 20 cents per product. Every time you sell it, you have to pay it again, or every month they expire and then you have to repost it, you know, so pay the 20 cents again. So as you can see, the selling fees on all of these other marketplaces are way higher than the 8% that TikTok is going to start charging. I mean, it would have been nice to have the 2% fee forever but this is you know not sustainable okay and tiktok also is spending a lot of money you know trying to acquire new customers giving vouchers free shipping all of that just to try to position themselves on the market and compete with all these other established marketplaces but i mean that's their marketing strategy the loss leader strategy to acquire a bunch of customers you know so so i mean I, we are not responsible for that what we care about is the fees that we will be charged forever now well until they increase it if they need to now what is interesting to me is what are they going to change now that they're going to be making a little bit more money from us. Well, I don't know for sure what they're going to be doing with this money, but there are a few things that I want to see change on this platform. First of all, the support. A lot of people are having problems with support. They get their account suspended or they get a violation. There's no way to communicate with a human. And once you get with a human, normally it doesn't help at all because the only thing that they do is raise a ticket, which is the same thing that you can do. Then you have to wait for a couple days, get the same can response every single time. I don't know if it's because they don't have the training or they don't have access or the power to actually fix the issues that you're having. So I don't know what it is, but I expect that there will be more humans available and better trained. That's one thing. Another thing that I would like to see change is their shipping. Because when you're using TikTok shipping, right? When you're actually paying TikTok for the label, I think that they should be responsible if the package doesn't get to the customer or if the customer opens an item not received claim because maybe the package was stolen or they didn't find it or a lot of times what happens is that they get the notification that the item was delivered and they go check and they don't find it is because a family member picked it up and forgot to tell them or instead of being delivery on their door it's delivered on the mailing box right so they don't check and they just open an item not received and the seller is responsible for basically refunding the entire order and get a metric hit. Now I understand if I use my own shipping software and I print my own labels, that I am responsible to get the package into the hands of the customer. I understand that. But if I'm using TikTok shipping where I have no control over anything pretty much, if the tracking number shows that the item was delivered into the customer's house, then if they say that they didn't receive it, bro that shouldn't be my problem right you know tiktok can refund the order or tiktok can open a claim with usps why do i have to get penalized and pay for the product basically you always have to pay for the product you know completely or you can talk to the customer through the chat and send him another one and hope that the customer will close the complaint because otherwise they're gonna have an extra product and also their money back and you're gonna still be penalized. So that's another thing that I want to see change. And finally, I would like to see better communication when it comes to violations because a lot of times when you get a violation, you have no idea what was the problem. Like, for example, you get a shop violation and it just says, oh, we detected that your shop doesn't comply with our policy, but there's no link to go to the policy that you broke, right? So, you know, better communication in terms of that. That's, I think that's a must because most people don't read through the entire policy that changes <laughs> pretty much daily, right? So when you get a violation, please, you know, let me know what I violated so I can fix it and I don't break it again. But the only option is to go and open a ticket and sometimes you will get an answer, most times you won't. So, you know, those are the things, but I would like to know what you would like to see change. Now that we're paying a little bit more, what changes would you like to see on this platform? Thank you for watching my rant. Now, if you like this video and you got some value out of it, please give it a like and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Now watch this video because it's also about TikTok shop and I'm sure that you're gonna like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.